Fuck it. What is happening? Third time to try. Just on fire, folks. Calvin Heimberg is a professional disc golfer that started playing tournaments back in 2010. And now, over the last couple of years, you see him on the podium week in and week out. Calvin kicked off his professional career in 2012, and by 2014, he won his first B-tier pro event, and he started cashing in tournaments, racking up over seven grand for his first big year. And by 2018, Heimberg more than doubled his earnings, winning nine events and getting a top 20 finish at Worlds. But the following year in 2019, Calvin had his true breakout season. He started the year off hot, winning two B-tier tournaments, giving him all the momentum he needed coming into the first national tour event of the year through three rounds this guy right here the Heimborg Calvin Heimberg just slaying the course so far six stroke lead playing incredibly well in his first year on tour Calvin's got to settle down here mm-hmm see if he can make this yes wow that is so clutch Paul feels that that's a pretty obvious mistake he does he does not want those coming down the stretch here and Calvin is unrelenting here. Over the pin. He do. With a one-shot lead. Well, you have a one-stroke lead on Dustin, but... Oh, wow. He crushes the putt. 45 feet. And look at this back nine. Four in a row to make that mistake. This is probably, effectively, for his chances to win his first national tour. And, oh, this oh, is perfect. really good. Perfect. No, perfect. Oh, wow. Absolutely perfect. Park job will work. Mm -hmm. I guess he just feels he, it's an easy enough shot from back here. This, and Calvin's not laying up at all. It's just not as, not in him. If this goes, oh, oh wow. Lock okay. it up, folks. Yeah. Oh, is he going to just? Yeah. <laughs> That's going on style, folks. What a way to win in golf through the midsection of this tournament. But the story is Calvin Heimberg. There he is. I was talking to him right before he tapped that putt out, asked him if he was going to do something funny. He said, That's not my style. No, and it isn't. No, it shouldn't be. After winning his first big event, he went on to place in the top 10 in all of the national tour tournaments for 2019, including the Hall of Fame Classic, which was the last tour event of the year. And Calvin had one of the most competitive back and forths of his career. He wound up tied for first with Adam Hammes and had to go into a playoff. They both wound up birdieing the first two holes and pushing it to hole three. And after two decent drives, Adam Hammes was forced to throw an Anheuser forehand shot that barely clipped the top of a tree. And this set Heimberg up with a 35 foot putt to potentially potentially win his second big event in one year. Just outside the circle. 36 feet between him and a second national tour victory. Wow. That's awesome. What a putt, what a tournament, what a season for Calvin. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is about as much emotion as you're going to see from the stoic young Calvin Heimberg. Wow, what a season. The 2019 Hall of Fame and PDJ National Tour Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Calvin Heimberg. He capped off the year with nearly 35K in tournament earnings and led the entire field in national tour points. And after breaking into the spotlight, he was able to re-sign a two-year deal with Innova. So now coming off of his best season yet, Calvin showed up at the first Pro Tour event of the year in 2020, and it seemed like he couldn't miss. Calvin up first. Slightly scary putt. Huge connection there for Calvin. No Whoa. way. Maybe a little bit more open of a line than we thought. It doesn't swing as much as I thought it might need to, but he still has oh. to just dodge around the tree. Fantastic. Calvin with the only difficult putt left, and he's been putting really well. And once again, connecting. He is on fire, folks. Nine is not the number he was looking for.
Spawned behind the leaders by, by how much? Calvin, what, what an impressively well executed back nine. This is a scary angle too, because were you to airball this, mm -hmm. you're gonna go right behind that tree. This is a big putt. That is a huge statement. Wow. And might be the putt he needs to turn things around a little bit and getting the momentum on his side. And look at that perfect putt. Calvin needing this one from 48 feet. Wow. Yes. And look at this little stretch now for Calvin. He has four of the last four. Here comes Vinny. Beautiful putt. And at least a much, much closer look at it, that's for sure. And Calvin with a huge opportunity now. Oh my goodness. Are we gonna see a Calvin Heimberg smile here? I don't think that's possible. One of the rarest gifts. Nope, almost. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it oh, is. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, and you love to see that. <laughs> and the good camaraderie there. Eagle giving hugs. Paul appreciating the great champion. Really impressive from Calvin. So solid. After winning the first Pro Tour event of the year, Calvin went on to place top 10 in 13 out of the 14 tournaments he played in, including second in USDGC and also winning his second Elite Series event of the year. And there he is. <laughs> Pure jubilation once again from Calvin as he. I'm feeling pretty good. The putt's feeling a lot better than it has, you know, throughout the middle of the year. Um, obviously, I could have made a couple more today, but uh, the putt's feeling pretty good. Um, the last two courses we play aren't anywhere close to the same as this, but uh, I feel like I'm having have pretty good control over the disc right now, so feeling pretty confident going in the last few events of the year. Now that Heimberg has broken into the spotlight, he has continued to shine. Last year, he was able to capture another Pro Tour win along with 17 top five finishes. And this year, he's sitting second for tour points behind Ricky Wysocki and has already won two Elite Series events and finished in the top 10 in both of the majors that have been played. Every big pro tournament, you can pretty much count on Calvin being in the top. He has solidified himself as being one of the best and his numbers don't lie. In his career, he's finished in the top 10 in national tour events 44 times, placed top 10 in major events three times, won eight national tour events, and has racked up over $200,000 in earnings. The only thing missing from his resume is is a major and I asked you guys if you thought he'd be able to do it before his career was over and I would say everybody has high hopes for him. Calvin is still in his prime and he is arguably playing more consistent than anybody right now. As long as he can keep up this level of play, there is no doubt in my mind that he will get a major. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more disc golf content. Last year there were only two PDGA majors, this year you're going to have a shot at four majors. Yep. How meaningful would it be for you to, to take one of those home this year? Yeah, that'd be amazing. I mean, I haven't won one of those yet. Um, haven't really had that many opportunities either. You know, since I've started touring, I haven't been able to make it to Europe because I haven't had that event. And um, so basically I've had two chances a year for the past few years. So get four chances this year, it'd be awesome to win one. Um, that'd be a great thing to check off the bucket list.